Hello everyone, this is Data from JGX and in today's video we are going to talk about AIM, Accuracy. How to improve your accuracy in MWO. Accuracy depends on many factors. Mouse, mouse mat, muscle memory and settings. We are going to cover these topic in this specific order. So first of all you need to understand which kind of mouse is best for you depending uh, on how you put your hand on the mouse. If you if you put the like the entire hand on the mouse, you need a different one than if you just put the, the tip of your fingers on it. So for example, if you are a fingertip guy, so you place on the mouse just the last part of your fingers, you can use a smaller mouse. You need a bigger one if you are kind of a palm guys. Uh, like me. I am palm grip guy. Uh, there are many aspects that you should consider when buying your mouse. Uh, I don't recommend buying 150 euros mouse because it's you don't need it. It's not that that mouse is better than uh, 50 euros, 60 euros one. The sensor in most cases is just the same uh, you just pay for extra features that are completely useless. Personally, I've been using this kind of mouse for years. Before I was using the uh, non-hero version, that the hero version came out with the best sensor and I bought this one, like the hero version of this mouse. Uh, I have a big hand and I am a palm grip, so I want a big mouse with uh, the hunch in the middle. If your hand is smaller though, you should find a smaller mouse, like for example uh, this one. You should always check how big the mouse is um, because say for my hand this one is too small. I tried it and I can't use it because this one is too small for me. Also if you are a palm grip you want the hunch in the middle this one has no hunch. So if you are a fingertip guy, you're gonna like, like this kind of mouse. So depending on how you put your hand on the mouse, you choose the mouse. Also, according to how big your hand is. Uh, wired or wireless mouse. Uh, if your wire does not hang somewhere, like the weight of the wire stops uh, your movements. If you don't have these kind of problems, you could use a wired mouse. I use a wired mouse because I, uh, the, the cable is on the table. So I don't feel the weight of the cable when I'm moving. But if you have less space, you should go for a wireless mouse. Today's wireless mice are just as good as the wired ones. Uh, you don't experience input lag or stuff like that. Like in the past, a wireless mouse was less indicated for competitive gaming, but today that they're just fine. They cost more, but they're just as good. Uh, another thing that you should consider when choosing a mouse is uh, that you don't need this sort of stuff. Like unless you're playing some sort of game like League of Legends where you have some spells to use, macros on spells, so you need dozens of buttons, uh, you don't need a lot of buttons on your mouse. You just don't. Uh, most competitive players say that um, you must use maximum two buttons on your mouse. Click one and click two. Because every time you click, you apply a force your mouse. So this force may actually actually shift your mouse to the left on the right and mess up with your aim. So you should just like have group one, group two, group three or four if you want to use them on the sides and that's it. All the rest advance at zoom, lock enemy, call airstrike, artillery strike should be on the keyboard because your fingers 
your pointing finger and the middle finger should always be on the mouse ready to shoot in every moment. Even the, the buttons on the flanks, you shouldn't use them because again, when you press them, for example, when you press this sort of side button, you move the mouse a little bit to the right because you're pressing from the left and your accuracy will decrease. So you are suggested to use just two buttons. So all these mice with a trillion of buttons are useless because you will never use them in game. Again, if you are a fingertip kind of guy or a claw grip, you can use mice like this with a hunch more on the front. Uh, this is not for me because I'm a palm guy, so I want a symmetrical one. I also prefer to put the last and the fourth finger together with the thumb on the mat. So I, I want this kind of shape from the front because the fourth and the fifth finger for me, they, they stay on the mat. I also don't have a mat. I have a wood block. You need to choose between mats and uh, solid blocks like aluminum block and so on, depending on how you play. Um, so as for the mice, ah, the weight, the weight is important. Uh, if a mouse is too heavy, it will be more difficult to change direction once a certain speed with your hand is applied. So if you're moving a mouse to the right and you want to go back to the left, the heavier the mouse is, the more force you'll have to apply, the less accuracy you will have. So you want a mouse that is as light as possible. So be careful in the end when you choose the mouse. There is not the best mouse around. It's impossible. It depends on how you use your mouse, how big your hand is. So this very depends on yourself. But you should always go for a good sensor and a light mouse. You don't need to spend crazy amount of money like this one that costs quite a bit. It doesn't have a better sensor than this one. You don't need to spend 150 euros. 50 euros mouse, 60 euros mouse is, is just fine. So once, uh, now we got this covered, we're going to talk about muscle memory. Muscle memory uh, builds through time. So when you have the same sensitivity set up uh, for ages, your muscles will remember like through instinct, how much to move your hand to go from point A to point B. If you keep messing up with your sensitivity non-stop, this will fuck up your aim. So every time you choose a sensitivity setting, you should keep that for at least a week to evaluate how good it is. Then you change. If you keep changing it every time, you're going to fuck up your muscle memory and your aim will be less and less. Uh, mm, this will affect mainly flicking. So moving the pointer from one point to another. If you fuck up with your muscle memory, you become incapable of flicking fast from point A to point B. Um, as for the window settings, what you have to do, uh, control panel, hardware, mouse, you go to options, enhanced pointer precision. Uh, this shouldn't have effect in the game, but even when you're navigating on internet and on the windows, you need to disable enhance pointer precision. This has to be disabled uh, because that's basically mouse acceleration. Mouse acceleration needs to be off smooth as well. Uh, basic, what mouse acceleration does is that it makes your movement dependent on how fast your mo you move your mouse. So let's say that you move your mouse 10 centimeters to the right. 
I want those centimeters to correspond always to the same amount of distance on the screen. Instead, if you, pu if you put acceleration on, or you put enhanced pointer precision on on Windows, that will work outside of the game because the game overrides. What will happen is that the cursor on the screen will move for a different uh, amount of space depending on how fast you move your hand. So same sensitivity, you move your hand slow, it's going to do something like this. You move your hand fast, it's going to do the, something like this. Even if the amount of space traveled by the mouse is the same, this destroys your muscle memory. So you should turn acceleration off. Same with uh, uh, smooth, you just don't need these two. They just fuck up with your muscle memory. Sensitivity. Many people in this game run too high sensitivity. You want this one to minimum, so you can control it better with your software. So you put it to min, so th this one basically multiplies for the in-game setting. So the exact amount of DPI that you have is this number multiplied per 0 0.11 in my case. So you want to turn this at the back, like very, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, it's going to be okay. And then you want to play around with your mouse software. I'm using Logitech mouse, so I have a Logitech software, but also other kind of devices will have their own software. And uh, you play with your sensitivity from the software. You can use a, have a DPI switch button if you want, just to, to change it. Like I'm moving the, the hand the same way, I'm just switching DPI and the cursor is moving a different way. You're not suggested to do that while you're playing because again, it will fuck up your muscle memory, but different mechs may eventually need a different sensitivity. Um, okay, now that we got the settings covered, just low sensitivity, control it from your software, no acceleration. Uh, we go in game. There are two ways to play uh, this game. Arm lock on and arm lock off. In testing ground. Basically, when you play arm lock off, the arms move independently from the torso. What you are controlling is the arm pointer. And the, the torso just follows. So my mouse right now is controlling the dot, not the cross. Advantage, it, once you li reach the pitch limit, you can unlock shoot like this even when you're turning you, you reached your limit you can't go further you unlock the arms and you can hit things okay, you can shoot below uh, the problem is that this kind of uh, aim is extremely inaccurate at range because the arms shoot where the dot is and the torso shoots where the cross is so if I alpha strike something they will hit into different places. Uh, for this reason, I prefer playing always with arm lock on because I want my bullets to hit in the same place. Always. And then when it's needed, something close comes close, then I unlock the arms and I hit him like this. Some max may make sense to have uh, arm lock off for example mechs that have weapons only in their arms like for example a phoenix hawk or a madcat with just two uac 5 and two uac 10s overall i don't like it because the sense it makes the sensitivity higher so i fuck up the aim um if i play with arm lock 
off. On smaller mechs, though, it, you may have an advantage playing that way because uh, the way the movements are, the game is more fast-paced uh, at shorter ranges, so you may want to turn your arm lock off when you're brawling with some sort of fast mechs, like, for example, again, a Phoenix Hawk that has all its weapons uh, in the arms. What I do is that I just increase uh, the sensitivity. So I have one sensitivity setting for extreme range trading, uh, one sensitivity setting for mid-range trading, depending on the, like a laser vomit, large pulse, and then when I jump on a light mech, I have a different sensitivity, just for, for pure brawling. The point is that uh, the sensitivity should be okay for pretty much what you're doing. So if you have a very um, low sensitivity, you're going to be extremely accurate at range, but in brawl, not that much, because you can't move your torso properly. Like, for example, low sensitivity like this, this is my sniping sensitivity, works better at range, but to fight in brawl with this, I would need to move the mouse like, I don't know, too much. Like even 30 centimeters, that's too much. So I just rise the sensitivity like this, because I want to keep moving my hand maximum, maximum 20 centimeters. I prefer small, small movements. So that's it for today, guys, and I hope it helped. I'll catch you next time.